to be whole again. Thought you were the piece missing from left. Oh, so I'm left from Montego Bay, right? So I'm Richard Jackson, all right? So I said me get a taxi from Jackson. It's not even 15 minutes from Jackson to the hotel that we were, we we're going to stay. It was a San Antonio hotel. So. I asked him, man, why price? The man tell me, say $4,000. All right, $4,000. Okay. So, all right, no problem. So, there was a fellow there who bring the bags them, like he work with Nusford. So, when people come, him bring a bag or him pack and he unpack, whatever. He said to me, say, some people that charge him six grand, not even 15 minutes driving, let me tell you. Anyway, all right, me pay it. No, no, me no work with no cash. By the way, me just use my card to hold on me vacation. Me just use my card mostly. But when you use your card, it's cheaper. No lie. When you draw money from the ATM, it's more expensive. But when you just use your card to tap for everything, it's cheaper. You just pay the normal rate, like the two, like some two percent something something. So anyway, I tell myself, all right. So we're there at San Anton Hotel. You see view for go San Anton Hotel? No me, when you're at the hotel, the view from the the bedroom is very nice. It's very picturey. It's nice. Because you can't just walk out in a beach. Nice see. And it wasn't no beachy beach in nothing either. Cause as you step down. Because I never went in the water. My husband said, as you step down right there, so it deep. So therefore, I never go in the water at all. It's just that in nice, the room nice and thing. But would me recommend it? No. San Antonio Hotel? No. The road of Fugode? Horrible. Like, you have a hotel, you're going to make sure, say, you got good road for good day. At least somebody can say you have good road. Not a good road. But me say, you know what? Me not like, because Germany was asking if more move and go somewhere else. But me not like it pack and it, they pack up all the time and it pack up and pack up and unpack. Me not, me can't bother with that the part day. So anyway, me still the whole like trip. Breakfast, horrible. But nah, like the breakfast is really horrible. No matter what me take him, me can't tell us it tastes good. The only thing that was was edible to me there that have taste was the frosted flakes and the hundred percent milk. Right. So and mo so saying all of this is that if you are accommodating someone, someone is paying for a service. Give the people them if you're offering just breakfast alone, give the people a proper breakfast now. The first time when we went there, we see people eating fruit and stuff. We sit down on my table, we're not getting a fruit. Second morning, the same thing. So, the third morning, no one, every sauce and teacup have a crack on it. So, we said, oh boy, how am I going to manage this? So, we said, all right, third morning, no. We said, all right, we're going to order breakfast. Then we said, no, we're going because we're going to video this. Anyway, it's if you have watched my previous video, you would realize that I post that. Not to bash them nor anything, but if someone is paying for a service, you give the people a service. So they can always come back, right? Anyway, at one point in the morning, a morning I got up to use the shower, the face basin, brush my teeth and think, dirty water. Literally dirty water, I didn't video it. I mean, like, this is just too much. So I went to the front desk and I said to the gentleman, I said, hello, sir. Um, this morning we get dirty water, both in the face basin and in the shower. And he was like to me, um, they get a new tank of water. So that's what I mean like to myself, what do you mean by get a new tank of water? So therefore there's no running water there. Like that's what I said to myself. At the first, I, was, I wasn't thinking about it, you know. But after, you know, so when somebody says something to you in a register, same time, it's after a while it registers. So I said, Jeremy, 
So that means uh, a tank water with the yes I use. And then uh, when I realized a morning I was going in the kit, going to the breakfast area, I realized they have a lot of drum of water in my back. Like anyways, I, I, I just couldn't wait for left day. Then the Akia, you know me love my Akia selfish. That day did horrible. You know, no vim, you know, no vam. Sweet pepper, no, you know, no flavor, nothing about it. And then in the morning, no, me tell me, say, so me, I got video hit. The morning, my buck up and aunt in a dumpling. <laughs> my husband loves him belly, right? And to be honest, he never bother eat nothing neither. He never bother eat nothing. So my experience was good and bad. My breakfast at Altaman Hotel was the bomb. It's just that the portion size was small, but it tastes good. I lie, it tastes really good. So now, my, so I decided to say, all right, when we're going back, we're going to call the same taxi man. Because in charge with 4,000. So I say, all right, that it is what it is. Make it just stay how it is. So I call him now, I ask him, I tell him, I want to drop to go back to the same place. I tell him, same girl, where you let off at the hotel. The man raised the price this time. He tell me say five thousand dollars. So me tell you that they charge me last time. Anyway, is it you me know say me want rich or me I go me give me money. But I mean like be nice now, be nice. You don't have to rip off people because people struggling just like you. People out there in Jamaica, we know if me if me did their Jamaica, I wouldn't parent. Me know some wouldn't have parent. But me not live in Jamaica. Me have to pay bills. I struggling to save. Is that like bills for bills? You don't live free here. So the moment you get a chance, I say, all right, let you travel. Let you, let you just get a break from this because you're working all the time. Right? And to be honest, to get my ticket, I have to do a payment plan. Because $3,000 is way expensive for a ticket, for two tickets. I think Caribbean Airlines must do better too. Then price too high. So if you are going to Jamaica, make sure you say you, you know somebody, honest. I make them do most of the talking. And like me, my talking they all over the place. We have Bajan, we have Jamaican, and we have English. Everybody are mixed up one time. So therefore, it's like we could have continued talking. When we reach home on a day, I have to laugh after myself. I said, damn idiot. But yeah, everybody mix up, you know? Because the reason what happened is that Barbadians saying Jamaican speak too fast so therefore sometime i had to slow down my talking so they could understand me or even try and be around them you realize that some things might come out in their accent because my husband if, if you are around him you realize he won't speak like a jamaican like jeremy why you keep on talking all language now <laughs> Likewise, he always saying that to me. He, 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 he'll be like, mm -mm, Talisa, that's not for you. So if you are going to Jamaica, make sure you know someone. Do an excursion. Make sure you're with somebody honest. Because these people feel like you have money. And I feel like when you're doing something, you're supposed to do it with love, with the goodness of your heart. And then you will be rewarded. So if you do a good job, being, being as I'm in the hotel industry, I always get tip. You give your service and then, you know, they will reward you. Right? So I, I think it's the same thing. Just be yourself. You don't have to try and rip off somebody. And the thing is, you know what happened? You will never find that in Barbados because since I'm here in Barbados seven years and counting, I've never experienced nothing like that. Never experienced nothing like that. Nobody don't try to tear you off. Them just give you the right price and that's it. Because these people are family people. They love their family. So they don't. They don't do anything like that. So Jamaicans, just stop it now. Stop trying to rip off people. We don't feel like, say, we don't feel like because a person travel, they have money. No. No, if me want a breadfruit, me have to buy it. If me want a hana banana, me have to buy it. So 
So people now live abroad, people abroad now live free, they got pay for everything. So when you see them come to Jamaica, sometimes they long for come to Jamaica, they long for food and stuff. So they make some sacrifice and they fly themselves down there. If you enjoy themselves, not for nobody rip them off. But only if you stop that, man, people not rich, people trying to survive just like Uno. We could understand the situation. Yes, we understand, but we still here doing all these things. You got pay for everything. Everything we got pay for. That is all I have to say for now. But no way no better than home, Jamaica and my home. Love my country, love my culture, love everything about my country. Right? Love Jamaica. And if you like my video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. But you know what the thing go, you know, you, you just have to talk the truth sometimes. You just have to talk what you mean and what you think. Jamaica is a nice place. Don't tell nobody if you're not good in. Go and experience Jamaica. Jamaica is very beautiful. Jamaica is very nice. The people are friendly. The food is good. The sightseeing and everything. A lot of things is in Jamaica. Just go and enjoy yourself in Jamaica. Just go. Just make sure you know somebody. The right person. And the honest person. Listen. To be honest, I know everybody at Jamaica stays so. Not every taxi man stays so. Right? Not every taxi man stays there. Some taxi man just grateful for the liquid they get. They now go kill with price, nor nothing. So, may I tell you? Just do what you have to do. I go enjoy my country. I'm a country that I love my country. My country means everything to me. It means so much. Jamaica is nice. The people are good. The food is good. Everything about Jamaica is good. Yeah, man. Right, that's all. Bye. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye.